Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and today we are in Willow Creek and we are building a wedding venue. I wanted it to look like a grand estate mansion type of venue and I think that is what I accomplished towards the end. Well, I mean, pretty quickly you'll see I accomplished the mansion look, but it actually took me a couple days in real life to build this it took me a while to get the outside you know exactly how I wanted it and then the inside took me some time too to actually think about so these videos the interior and exterior is going to be two different videos I hate doing that um but it just you know this one just being the exterior is already 45 minutes long and I could have um fast forward it a lot more so we could have maybe fit them both in the same video but i noticed with the first couple videos that i did the first couple speed builds i sped it up so fast that it was kind of hard to follow along and so going forward i don't want to speed it up so fast you know i want it to be able to be followed along be easy and to follow understood along, and you know sense. watch so, the process so i Going forward, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to try to keep them not sped up so fast so you can actually see what's going on. Um, I mean, let me know if that's not an issue for you guys, if the first few videos I posted was not too fast. Um, I mean, if this one's too fast, let me know and I'll slow it down even more. I just need to get, you know, better at uh, building faster. And by the way... I'm going to not cough in this uh, voiceover at all, but if I sound a little like nasally and stuff, that is because I just got over being sick all last week. And so I'm still a little bit sick, but it's on the like end of it. So I feel better overall, but I still sound sick. So <laughs> that is why if you hear me clear my throat and stuff, I'm going to try not to do that. Sometimes it just happens though. So if you hear that, that is why. Um, but anyways, we are getting the exterior put together. Um, I ended up doing the flat roof on this. I couldn't decide what kind of roof I wanted to do, but I did want it to match the other houses in Willow Creek, and a lot of the other houses have that flat roof. Um, I heard through the grapevine i don't know how accurate this is but i guess willow creek is based off of new orleans i i don't know i've been to new orleans one time and it was for a work conference and so i literally drove to the hotel down the street to my office and so i didn't really like go into neighborhoods and look into neighborhoods at the houses that's just not wasn't my priority at the time so if you guys live in uh, New Orleans, <laughs> let me know. I, I am curious, do houses look like this in New Orleans or is that just some rumor that someone made up one day? Um, but anyways, we are getting the exterior, you know, pretty much finished. It kind of stays like this. I am putting in garden beds. That is what that is. I am using the round platforms to make garden beds and right now it it you know just looks like round fences <laughs> but kind of towards the end of this video is when I start doing the landscaping I believe maybe halfway through the landscaping is a big part of it there is a lot of landscaping in this build so keep that in mind when you actually download this on the gallery I do not know how this is going to run on lower end computers and laptops. Um, I really like to try to keep my builds um, as downloadable for everyone as possible, but sometimes it is fun to go out of the norm and do these bigger builds. So right here frustrated me so bad when I was building it. Um, though I don't know if it's a bug or what, but like, those two staircases right there, I wanted to add that fence in between like that. And every time I tried to put the second staircase back, the fence would literally disappear. 
I tried messing with it whichever way. I moved the whole lot. I tried to spread out the space in between the two staircases and none of it worked. I could not figure it out for the life of me. And so there is going to be that gap in between the rails of those two staircases. I end up putting the second railing back on that bottom staircase at some point through the build. And I, when I'm doing the landscaping, I just put like a bush there and it just aggravated me so bad. And I like to be, you know, a perfectionist for some reason on my builds. <laughs> That's probably why it takes so long. But um, yeah, I just never could figure it out. Hopefully it's a, a bug that they'll be fixing soon. I don't know if anybody even knows about it. Because that's the first time I ever encountered that issue. This is probably the first time I've ever done a staircase like this, though. So that that might be why. But um, yeah, so I added those big white trees out there. I think those are from Cats and Dogs. And I thought they looked so good out there on the outside of the venue like that. And then, of course, you know, I had to add a limo. And I liked the black limo. And that against the white had me thinking... Maybe I should do a black and white look on the outside with the red flowers. And then it just, it just started to come together. And then I found that sign and it was, you know, it just looks kind of like it's written in cursive similar. So it looks elegant. It looks like something that would possibly be on a <laughs> wedding venue like this, you know. So I thought it fit pretty good. Um, you are going to see the back is just like the front. <laughs> I'll get there in a second. So I end up just splitting like the inside in half and putting the second. You'll see. Once I get there, I'll explain it. Right now, I am trying to get the front kind of put together. I wanted it to match the brick driveway in the front. And this lot is kind of aggravating to match up that driveway unless you use the terrain paint but nothing matches the brick perfectly and that aggravates me so bad so I ended up using just a totally different brick that I wanted to use in the build that I thought looked pretty that ended up being from one of the kits actually so I'm sorry I don't like to use the kits in my builds but this one like I said this build was kind of a free-for-all <laughs> I just went willy-nilly. I don't even know how many packs I ended up using in the end. So right now, you see me. I'm just trying to make it look good for like the gallery picture and stuff. You might see me do that sometimes in the builds. I try to cut that part out because who wants to see me go back to the gallery main page like that or like the saved part like that. But it just, I kept it in this time. And um, the limo, I end up moving again. I'm pretty sure I put it like right directly in front of the fence. I just wanted it to look, you know, symmetrical. And it didn't look symmetrical at being on one side like that. So I put it in the middle. And it, you know, I wish I could have figured out a way to decorate the limo. I might have been able to figure it out. I didn't even think about it until right now. Um, that I could have used like the balloons. I end up using on the inside some balloons and stuff that you put on the walls. I should have so decorated the limo with like the balloons so it looks like one of the wedding guests decorated the limo for the, the wedding, for the bride and the groom, you know, for whoever is getting married. Um, have you guys ever done that in real life? I actually did that for my sister and... Her ex-husband's, yeah, they're no longer, <laughs> they're no longer married, but her ex-husband's stepdad had the nerve after me and my brother and my brother's girlfriend, we were out there decorating the car or yeah, it was their car. They didn't use a limo. It was their car. And um, yeah, we we're out there. We were decorating it. We spent some time. We were having fun. I bought the supplies, keep in mind. And this guy, this old guy, had the nerve to just yank it off. And I didn't know this at the time. Trust me. I would have been so mad. But my sister ended up telling me this, um, I don't know, sometime after the wedding. She was like, oh, yeah. Um, he said that that's just an invitation for people to steal. Which, okay, don't get me wrong. I can see that. But at the same time, you didn't 
you know, you didn't pay for that stuff. You didn't spend the time doing that stuff. So it was pretty rude of him to just yank it off, you know? So I never liked that guy to begin with anyways. He was always kind of like a, a jerk. I was going to say a different word, <laughs> but no, I'm trying to keep it, you know, PG-13. <laughs> so um, yeah, I am. So this is not the interior at all. I, this is just the exterior on this part. Right now, I'm just trying to do the, um, like, the the floor plan and try to figure out exactly what I want to do on the inside. I'll talk more about the inside in the next video. But, um... I definitely wanted to, you know, have a wedding ceremony location and the reception location on the inside. And... Let me tell you, I thought those rooms were going to be plenty big enough, but the ceremony room, that was plenty big enough. But the reception room, honestly, I could have like doubled that size and still been able to fill that room up for some reason. It was like hard to figure out exactly how I wanted the interior reception to be. I wanted it to have so much more space. I wanted there to be, you know, all sorts of stuff. The kitchen that you see me put down there is no longer there. And neither is the bathroom on the other side. The downstairs ends up changing, you know, a little bit in the middle in that one side where the reception is. It changes quite a bit. But yeah, with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and get the floor plan out of the way just so, you know, I can do the landscaping without worrying about having to redo the exterior walls um I, which honestly wasn't really an option anyways because i really wanted it to stay with this exact like symmetrical aesthetic um i feel like that's just what the picture looked like on the inspiration photo that i looked at off of google i look at inspiration photos before i do a build for the most part sometimes i'll do it just out of my own brain but for bigger builds like this, I need all the inspiration I can get <laughs> to fill out this big lot. But um, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of chandelier I want to put out. And like you've seen, I kept going back and forth between chandeliers. Um, I even pulled out <laughs> some weird pirate chandelier from Get Together, or not Get Together, but Get Famous. Um, I was just pulling out all the stops. We don't have nearly enough chandeliers in the game to like big chandeliers that you can put over an open staircase. We don't have like really any. Um, we have a few for like the big, nice, elegant, um, just really fancy, almost modern type of builds, but no like traditional type of chandeliers. I I grabbed a base game one and I just sized it up and I think it works really good. Um, this build, I do not believe I, I play tested like the ceremony parts and, you know, the exterior. I have not play tested the interior yet, but I will play test this before I actually download it onto the gallery. Um, when I'm done with this voiceover, I'm going to go ahead and play test it and then I'm going to probably... I'm posting this today on February 5th, so, you know, I went back and forth on if I wanted to post it on the gallery after I posted the second interior video, and that's not going to be posted till this Wednesday, and I was like, um, I really want to be able, I want you guys to be able to download it now if you want to, so I went ahead and uploaded this on the gallery as you're watching this it should be on the gallery so you can go to my gallery the clumsy simmer um no spaces and yeah you'll be able to download this along with a lot of other builds um i just recently started recording my builds and my sims that i create so i have you know i've been posting on the gallery now for um I don't even know. I'd say probably since like 2020, since COVID. That's when I found out about the gallery and that's when I started posting on the gallery. You know, I started posting on the gallery just posting my builds to save them pretty much uh, just in case my tray folder gets cleaned out. 
And um, then, like, people started downloading my stuff, and they started really enjoying my stuff. And I've thought about doing a YouTube channel for quite a while now. I just could not, you know, bring myself to do it. I don't really know why. It The main thing is the voiceover for me. I didn't think I'd be able to sit here for 10, 15, 20 and in this case, 45 minutes and just sit there and talk. But it doesn't, you know, <laughs> it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I just, you know, I don't know. Just think about stuff to say it. I say it. I don't really think too hard. I don't plan a script. Um, I tried doing the whole script thing and that just does not sound natural to me. I like the whole natural sound that I have right now. Um, I don't have many followers at the or subscribers at this point um on youtube so any like um constructive si uh criticism that you guys have i could not remember that word for the life of me it took me a second to remember that word um constructive criticism it was hard to say too so if you guys have any constructive criticism for me on my videos you know just the way that I fast forward it, to the way that I film it, to the way that I voice over, anything. Um, of course, don't be mean. Um, constructive criticism is giving me advice in the nicest way possible. Don't be mean. Um, if you're mean, then it's not gonna it's not gonna bother me anyways. You know, you gotta have tough skin if you're gonna be posting online. You're gonna have trolls. You're gonna have all stuff like that. But anybody that is genuinely a fan of the stuff that I build and the sims that I make, if you have constructive criticism, feel free to leave, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. I am open to stuff like that. Um, I definitely want to build my channel and build it, you know, I want it to be as genuine as possible and as good as possible and yeah so just any constructive criticism you guys have feel free to leave it down below it's not gonna hurt my feelings it's gonna help me in the long run so yeah um anyways back to the build you see me i ended up you know going with this gazebo look on the outside um my inspiration for this was actually uh, a wedding venue that I went to go look at. My fiance and I have been engaged for a little bit now. It hasn't quite been a year. Um, but, you know, we were actively looking at wedding venues when we, when we first got engaged. Without realizing, like, even for the cheapest looking venues, how expensive that stuff is right now. So... We're kind of putting it on hold right now. We're going back and forth with doing an elopement, with doing um, an actual venue. We don't have many friends and family to invite, really. We worked out of town for a while. We have a lot of out-of-towners, uh, like in Nashville, Tennessee, where we worked. Um, and I don't really know if they would even be interested in coming out to our wedding. Um, I have a smaller family. I'm not close with any of my cousins or anything like that. I have a few, a couple of siblings and I have my parents. And then my fiance has just a sister and his mom. Um, yeah, his dad passed away, you know, um, before we met. We've been together for seven years now. And so, yeah, I mean, just, it's stuff to think about, you know, Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I was going off of, you know, the, the primary focus, and that is this wedding venue, and where I got the inspiration for this one from was just one that I went to go see in person. It was a garden with a gazebo like this, and it was actually on a lake, and um, it was beautiful, and if we do end up getting married at a venue, it's I'm probably going to choose this one, and it was actually, you know... A mansion on the outside not a huge mansion it was like it was built 
in like the 20s or the 30s the 1920s or 30s so it's quite old but it looks so good like they've kept up with it very well and um yeah and the brick this brick reminded me of that place so much and the whole setup of this area that i have reminded me of you know that venue and it really was beautiful um very beautiful and it also had like a right before you walk down the aisle it had an archway with flowers and bushes growing around the heart shaped archway and i wish i could have mimicked that in the game but i could not you know there's no heart <laughs> you'll see me right here trying to mimic that in a way um but i quickly gave up on it there's no heart shaped archways there is no archway that was gonna fit that uh section right there it was gonna be a little bit that section was a little bit too big for an archway and then i had that second walkway on the side so it just i went away with that idea and this right here i'm adding <laughs> this is when i start the whole flowers and the bushes and trust me there's a lot of them towards the end um just throughout the build i just keep adding and adding and adding because i wanted it to feel like I wanted it to be good for screenshots and feel like your sims were just surrounded by flowers and I wanted it to be like a garden basically. A garden wedding venue in the back back here and not just a big green lawn. I mean that's kind of boring. In real life people can get married on a big green lawn and have great photos. That's not a big deal but in the sims I feel like it doesn't look as good in the sims. Um, it definitely looks better if you're surrounded by flowers, <laughs> at least in my opinion. Um, if this is way too many flowers, I mean, this is nothing yet. Trust me, uh, I add a lot more. And in the end, if you guys think it's it was a little bit overdone, let me know. Or if you guys think it looks great with how much flowers there is, let me know. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it looks great. <laughs> I think it looks so pretty. Um, it kind of was giving exactly what I wanted it to, um, which is just a big, colorful, beautiful garden. So yeah, um, here I am. I'm trying to make sure that the view, so the screenshots, I wanted it to have good screenshots, like I was saying, for your gameplay. So that... Um, area right then when I was trying to look at the gazebo that was me trying to make sure these screenshots in the back was good and right here I paused for a little bit in real life and stopped recording and then I start you know adding some more stuff without recording and so I was like oh man I already now I have to go back to see what I recorded what I didn't record I actually had some more stuff down, like these tables I already had down, I believe. Um, but I ended up deleting those. And I was like, you know what? I can just add a transition and explain in the voiceover. There might be some stuff you guys missed. Not a lot. Basically, just me building that um, that area with the stairs where the wedding couple goes. Um, that's what I built. That dance floor in the middle, I ended up putting a platform down and raising it up. And I wish I could have figured out how to use that beautiful, um, whatever you call that. Uh, it's just, it's filled with flowers. It would have been so pretty. I wish I would have re I always forget about it. I wish I could have remembered about it before I built this because then I would have been able to plan on how to use it. But it was already, uh, <laughs> I already had this pretty much figured out. There was no use in trying to figure out how to use that because there was like no way possible. Um, this was already getting pretty much put together out here in the back. That part in the middle between this reception area and the wedding ceremony area on the other side, I had the hardest time trying to figure out what to put there. Um, I can't remember if I edited out the maze that I put there or not but I ended up putting a maze there at one point <laughs> and I just went away with that idea um but yeah we'll get there later in the video and I'll talk about it once we get there um right now I'm just trying to figure out the reception area on the outside so the outside reception area 
and ceremony area. And then there will also be an inside reception and ceremony area. Just in case the weather is not good for you guys um, in the game if you have seasons. Me, I have no problem with using cheats if it's raining and I want an outside wedding for my sims. I will use the cheats to make it sunny. And I do not feel bad about it at all. Um, this is just a game, right? So um, if the cheats are there and you like to use them, by all means, use them. But for my actual gameplay, for like the cheat needs and stuff, I do not use the cheat needs. I used to as a child for The Sims 2. And even as an adult for The Sims 2, now that I'm playing it again, well, I've been playing it for years now. But there was a while that I wasn't playing it. And then when I went back to playing it, I was like, trying to do it with no cheese and I was like holy crap The Sims 2 is hard <laughs> but um The Sims 4 is way easy to use without cheats it's like almost too easy unless you have multiple infants and then it's not easy but uh yeah back to the build um I am adding these red flowers so I was adding these flowers these pink ones and I was like it needs some red because I have those red like flowers by the, the windowsill flowers and it needed some type of red. So, you know, here I am. I found these like red, some type of red flowers. I'm not a good, you know, I don't know the different names of flowers besides like the basic ones. But um, yeah, I added those red flowers in between the bushes and the white shrubs with the white flowers on them. And I thought it turned out really good. And that is what I mean by, is it too many flowers? Um, <laughs> and then I start adding more flowers around that white uh, garden bed. Because I, f I found out while I was building, there's like a green section in between the brick walkway and the shrubs. And I just didn't like that. I like it to be symmetrical on both sides for some reason. At least if like it's a pretty symmetrical build, I want it to be symmetrical throughout. And that was just bothering me so bad. So I ended up adding more flowers on the outside of the flower bed. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I don't know if people would do that in real life, but that is what I did in this build. And I think it turned out, I think it's beautiful. I don't think it's too many flowers. I don't think you can have too many flowers. But the performance of the game and the lagging of the game might have a different opinion on that. So if it's too many for you guys, let me know. I'm curious. Is there such thing as too many flowers? <laughs> but yeah, here I am. I'm still, I'm still adding these red flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so if it took me a couple minutes sped up like this, can you imagine how long it took me in real life to just sit there and place those flowers all throughout this build? It took me quite a while. <laughs> um, I can't remember exactly how long, but like I said, it took me one day working on it, kind of like off and on throughout the day, to do the exterior and then the interior was just, you know, took a while too. <laughs> but um yeah, I am outside in the front again, uh, getting this front part figured out. I end up, this is where I end up adding more flowers around this garden bed right here. And, you know, doing the flowers around the curves was not the easiest thing. But if you just have patience and you, you know, kind of use the alt key to place it, you can actually place them on a curve and it actually looks pretty good like um right here i don't know i think that looks pretty good it almost it looks like a curve it doesn't look like you know all like sharp edges and kind of like catty corner and you know like rectangular and stuff i don't you know yeah rectangular <laughs> that's the best word i can think of but um yeah, as long as you have patience, use the alt key, place, you know, it's definitely nothing if you're short on simoleons, it's not anything you can probably do. You probably could also use the platforms and just use the shrub, like the fence that looks like a shrub, you know, like the green one. I end up using that in the back of my build, like in that green section, 
in between the ceremony and reception. And um, you could use that and use it kind of how I have the white fencing around the garden bed. You could do that with the the green shrub fence thing. Um, I have such a way with words, don't I? But um, right here, I am just trying to figure out, like, I almost added even more, like, another layer of the white shrubs. But I was like, okay, even I think that's too much. So instead of having that green part, I believe I just add the rest of that brick right there. So there's really not much, like, green grass in this build besides in the front part on both sides where, like, the white trees are. And then that middle section in between the ceremony and reception. And I end up just leaving that like a little park place where you can like play chess and just sit. Um, and I am focusing on the ceremony area right now. I'm just adding like the decoration pieces, um, those red roses in the middle uh, that line the walkway. I end up doing away with that. And I put red roses, or like the, not red, the pink. I believe I did the pink. It's either pink or white. Um, I almost did red here because of the red flowers that I added in the bushes. And then the red windowsill flowers. And it just wasn't, it wasn't looking right to me. So I ended up doing the pink. Something about pink at a wedding. It just you know, fits to me. And then I add like those spa day um, dividers with the candles on it. I add those behind the seats as kind of like the, I mean, you could see through them, but typically they're supposed to be like not see through so that it's kind of a surprise when the bride walks through. Uh, but I thought it was pretty just to use those with the candles on there, especially at night. It lights it up really pretty. So I decided to use those. And then I'm trying to decide what to put on both sides of this gazebo. And I end up just doing the flowers like this kind of around the fountain. And the fountains, you know, during gameplay, they do... They're kind of functional in a way. I mean, your Sims can't interact with them, but it like spouts water out at the top and I think it looks really pretty with the screenshots and that other like blank area like one side there's a piano on the other side there's nothing and I could not for the life of me decide what to put there and I think I decided just to put like it, it's either nothing it either stays as nothing or I put that flower there right there like that bouquet of flowers which I think is beautiful I wish they gave us you know, one for each side, because it kind of like if you put if you put one on each side, you either have to turn it a certain way and then it's not even or it's just facing both sides. Like the the bouquet part is kind of going off to the right. And I wish they would have just gave us one where the bouquet part was going off to the left so we could put one on both sides and it looks symmetrical. But at the same time, it's not exactly the same. Uh, but they didn't, so, oh well. <laughs> um, and now I'm just doing the walkway. I end up putting these, like, lilies down. I think those are from Dine Out. And then those lanterns are from My Wedding Stories. And I think it actually turned out really good. I wanted the walkway to be twice as long as this. I love to have the long walkway, but... It didn't look right, so I just did the shorter walkway. If that bothers you and you want a long walkway, you can delete that, of course, and put the longer one down. But just remember that I said it doesn't look right. <laughs> so when you put it down, it doesn't look right. Yeah, you should have listened. No, I'm just joking. But um, yeah, so I ended up doing those same lilies in the, book, in the vase and the lantern on both sides of the arch under the gazebo, the wedding arch. And I am just switching the swatch on the piano, trying to, I'm looking at the different lightings too, to make sure it looks good all parts of the day. And um, that's something I do quite often in builds. And I am back in the front. I, if I can't figure something out, 
on one part of the build. Something that I do is hop onto another part of the build so that I don't spend too much time on the one part that might be aggravating me, you know? Um, so it doesn't look as good when I'm recording the videos, but it definitely helps me build and just not be frustrated because <laughs> it is supposed to be fun. It, you're not supposed to be sitting there getting mad and frustrated and having like creators block. So just a tactic for me is go move on to something else and come back to it because more times than not when I come back to it, something automatically pops into my head and I just start building and building and building. And it's like I never had a problem in the first place. <laughs> So uh, this front part is actually getting put together now. Um, I have never done a front like this before with the platforms. Uh, I think it turned out really good. It And it has like five steps up to the ground level where the ground level of the mansion is. And then five steps up to that when you get into the actual building of the mansion. And it just, I think it looks so good. Um, it looks, I think it looks really good. It looks really pretty. I love that brick. I think I already said the brick came in one of the kits, but I don't think I said which kit it was. Um, I believe it's the blooming, blooming room kits or something like that. Reminds me of the blooming onion for some reason. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm just, putting in even more flowers out in the front. I told you guys, there's a lot of flowers in this build and I am still not done with flowers yet. Trust me, I, I add more. Not too much more, but I do add some more of those red ones. And then back here, yeah, this is when we're getting into this part back here. I said earlier in the build, I could not decide for the life of me what to put here. I you know, tossed around some ideas. I was going to do like a, a maze like I was telling you guys. And then I put it together and it just didn't look like I thought it would. So I was like, you know what? That's kind of stupid. <laughs> so I'm going to, I just deleted it. And then I did something just totally out of whack. I took the idea that I had in the front with the, like the, you walk into the gate and it has that area and you step up all the steps. It's kind of sunk down. I almost mimicked that in the back back there, and it just, it was too much. It was way too much. And so I scrapped that idea too. This is when I took this hedge. Oh, that's the word I was looking for, the hedge fencing. That is when I add the hedge fencing back here. And pretty much how it is right now, it doesn't change much from this. And I just add like a chess table with some like the umbrella benches not benches but the umbrella tables with the chairs just something back there I almost added an easel I just was being really indecisive and it's an area that doesn't really matter anyways I just wanted something in between the reception and ceremony location so that it was kind of broken up you know you know what I mean so in the end, my goal was to just have it separate like that. So I guess I achieved my goal. It could have been a better use of space for sure. If this was real life in between there would have been perfect area for like the cocktail hour. Because typically in real life, there, there's the ceremony, there's the cocktail hour with hors d'oeuvres. And then, then there's the reception. Um, I have... <laughs> Almost embarrassing, but kind of funny story to tell you guys. Uh, just a small one. So my fiance and I, uh, when we were looking at wedding venues, we seen the word hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> and if you guys have ever seen that word spelt, you probably won't even blame me for what I'm about to tell you because before this, I've never seen the word hors d'oeuvres spelt. I mean, I've heard of the word hors d'oeuvres. I know what hors d'oeuvres are, but I've never seen the word spelt. So it's spelt like or is spelt H-O-R-S, I believe. And then d'oeuvres is spelt, you know, D. 
O-U-R-V-E-S. I believe that's how it's spelled. Don't quote me on that. That's how I think it's spelled. Um, just basing it off memory. But yeah, we were sitting on our couch. Luckily, we weren't in front of any of the wedding planners. You know, that would have been pretty embarrassing. We would have looked so, like, just illiterate, I guess. <laughs> but um, we were sitting on the couch, and I look at him. I'm like, what the heck is Horus Divorce? And he's like, Horus Divorce? And he looked at the word, and he's like, I don't know what that is. And we literally used the word horse divorce for weeks talking about our wedding after that and then I don't remember what I was looking at or maybe I was watching a video or something we were sitting on our couch talking about it again and this was like weeks later after we already used the word horse divorce several times luckily not talking to anybody but um yeah so I was watching something or it just clicked in my mind. I'm like, oh, and he's like, what? And I'm like, you know how we were saying whores divorce? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, it's hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> and, you know, it might not be funny to you guys because, you know, sometimes it's just you have to be there. But we felt so just, you know, stupid. <laughs> we just felt so silly. But um, uh, let me know if you guys had that same experience. Probably not. We probably were literally the only ones stupid enough to think that it was horse divorce and not hors d'oeuvres. But yeah, that was literally a thing that happened. And luckily, we weren't in front of anybody. Because <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. They would have seen our probably our worst moment ever. But uh, yeah, so... Back to the build, we are in the front, and I am trying to decide how exactly I want to do the landscaping in the front. By the way, my dog is over there wanting to go outside, because she doesn't have to go to the bathroom or anything, trust me. She just went outside, like, before I started this voiceover, so she just wants to be a pain in my butt. But, um, yeah, so if you hear any background noises, that's her. <laughs> but... Yeah, so I ended up scratching the idea that I was just going with. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was just going to fill up that whole area with flowers. I was going overboard. And I was like, you know what? No. So I did scrapped away with that idea, adding some more of these red flowers just so it, you know, it matches the rest of the build. And I didn't really want to use those, like, white shrubby flowers or vines or whatever you want to call those. But... It just looks so good surrounding those big bush flowers like that for some reason. That's just something that I typically do. Um, I seen that on a speed build probably for Little Simsy. I used to watch her all the time. I haven't watched her in years, but I used to watch her all the time. And that's something that she used to do. I don't know if she still does or not. And I thought it looked so good. So ever since then, that is what I do. It just... It almost gives it like some sort of outline of the shrub and it fills it up a little bit more. It just, it gives it something and it looks really good. Uh, but I'm just adding some of these benches out here in the front around this fountain. And this fountain is from my wedding stories and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And your Sims can actually sit on that fountain as well um, on the little seats that are on there. So there's plenty of seating throughout this build. We are actually finally nearing the ends of the exterior. I have not touched the interior, uh, and that will be in my next video that will be posted on Wednesday. And here is where I, I just end up putting the bushes right there. I never could figure out the fencing on this part, and it just aggravates me so bad because it would look so good just with a fence in between the two railing, but that's just... You know, that's just how it is on The Sims. Sometimes there's bugs. You can't build exactly how you want it, how you want to. <laughs> but um, I am adding some of these lights outside. I like to make sure it's nice and lit up and pretty. So if you do get married at night, the screenshots are nice. And back here, I did have this red. But 
I ended up having the, like, it was like a red and orange flower combination. But the ceremony location was pink. And so I was like, no, I, it has to match. So I ended up just changing all this to pink out here. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this speed build. Um, hopefully you guys come back and watch the interior. Like I said earlier, if you want to download this, it will be on the gallery. Uh, my name is The Clumsy Simmer. And with that being said, we are nearing the screenshots of just the exterior. And so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or nights, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. She puts her hand in mine We want to chase the night Want to dance to the light Pull the stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top We're gonna, we're gonna be Two hearts running wild Yeah.